Hello, my friends, and welcome to the fourth and last episode of the Red Riding Hood project. In this episode, I'm gonna set the final touches, create some magical light effects and round off the picture so it is a finished work. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create a light because you can see down here in her hand, she's holding a lamp. As you can see, here is the lamp behind the fog and we want to have a nice light effect on that. So this is created in two simple steps. Um, the first thing we want to do is create a pixel layer. I will create this layer on top of the other layers. And what we're gonna do is create, a, use our freehand selection tool and create a rough um, selection. So click on add up here as the mode for your freehand selection tool, then hold your shift key and create a selection around her. The reason why this can be rough is because we are going to blur the effect afterwards. So it doesn't have to be too perfect on the edges. Doesn't matter too much. Just select her body and the parts where you think the light should go. So this is the important thing, of course. Put it where the light should go. And then, of course, over here we have this tree and it is, would be natural to have some light on the tree too. So let's do that. I will go a little bit outside to tree. That is because of the blur effect that should still apply to the tree. So the edges will be transparent when we blur them. So this is why it should be a little bit outside. Uh, at least on the side where the light is. So now we have created our selection. We will go and use a brush. We can set it to a big size. Well, this is a little bit too big maybe. Um, let's go with this size is good and reduce the hardness to a very low um, hardness. Let's set the size a bit bigger again. Okay, there we go. Going to reduce the opacity to 50% so it's not too intense and we have several tries uh, on painting on it. And then we're going to select a nice warm orange color. There we go. Bright orange is good. And this looks strange when we started, but don't worry about it. It will look better when we blend it with the picture. So there we go. It's a bit extreme, but don't worry. Maybe the last was a little bit too much, so I will use it like this. I've got one step back and now it looks like this and you will think, hey, this looks crazy. This looks strange. Can't be a good light effect. But what we're going to do is we're going to set our blend mode to screen. This already looks better. And then we go over to our effect for the layers and we're going to use our Gaussian blur and blur this and you can see wow now it becomes a better light effect and when we redrew, when we reduce the opacity of the layer we can even adjust how bright the light is going to be we're not going doing to do this now because we have to create the second light um, for the lamp so we're doing a second layer and we will paint on here to create that effect so there we go second pixel layer created and we don't have to do a selection this time uh, because it's just going over all of the area where we're going to use a brush. We are going to select a nice yellow color. There we go, nice bright yellow. Click on this once, maybe twice. There we go. And then we're going to select a smaller brush. Let's see. Yeah, that seems to be a good size. And we are going to set our color to white and draw a little circle in here in the middle. Here we go. And then click several times so we have a bright white spot in the middle. And the next thing we're going to do is again, we are going to set it to screen. And as you can see, I can move this effect around and I can place it exactly where the light is. So I don't have a problem with being exact for the position. So now we are going to zoom out to figure out how bright our light should be. Because of course, right now it's much too bright. And of course we can also use our Gaussian blur here to influence a little bit loud how the light looks. So I will also use a little bit of Gaussian blur here and now gonna reduce the brightness so this seems to give, be a good brightness and we can now also reduce um, the light in the back there we go and by the way what you can also do if you think 
okay this is maybe a bit too big you can resize that make it smaller and so now you can see it is in a smaller area so you can really influence how your light should look and feel in the picture and where the position should be so this is pretty nice and again with our blur especially on the background look at this when you use the blur you can really influence how the light feels on the rest of the picture so this is pretty blurry and light getting lost in the fog while here we have a situation where the light is touching the tree um, in a more exact and direct way and of course again we can reduce that effect but you can see with the light now in the picture there's a much higher tendency for the viewer to look down there uh, where the girl is so that is also a pretty nice um, effect of that a pretty nice um, use okay so now that we've created that light in her hand, the next thing I want to do is, first of all, I want to take care of this tree over here. I think it is a bit too bright um, for our use. So we will make this a little bit lower. So I'm gonna turn off the luminosity layer and set this layer to normal. So I can sample the color, there we go. Sample the color. And then I'm going to set the second color to black so we can switch back and forth with that. And the first thing I'm going to do is brush over here. And I will leave this as at normal so I can see what I'm doing uh, yeah, a bit easier. You can see this is very fast to do. I'm just brushing over this a little bit. There we go. All the way up to here. So that's good. Here we go. And now we're setting it back to overlay so we can see what we've done. And let's brush in here a little bit more. If it's sticking out a little bit, of course, you can use your eraser to go in here, touch this a little bit up so it's more exact. There we go. That's a bit better. And we can still go in here to adjust the brightness, but I think from the brightness, it's okay. So this is good. The tree is a little bit darker. I wanna go in here a second time because I see here some parts that I don't like too much. So let's make the brush a little bit smaller, brush over these elements here a little bit. A really quick job to do, as you can see. Oh, I haven't turned on the luminosity layer. So this is why this looks pretty even. We have to adjust the luminosity. I just remembered. Wow. Ah, yeah, it's always good to check everything that you do. Uh, so you're not forgetting something. So there we go. This is okay. But now that we turn on the luminosity, um, you can see, well, it's actually still okay. I'd say we can go in here with the brush. Good size like this, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, and use this on a low opacity, maybe 13% only. Zoom in a little bit and give this, make this a little bit darker maybe, just in that area. Go up here, there we go. Okay, so now the tree is darker and I think it really enhances the wolf more because it has more this kind of, that's, he's really in the space and the tree is really in front of him so this really helps the picture a lot at least that's how i feel about that um, another thing that i want to fix a little, little bit is these legs down here so we're going down to the mask of the uh, wolf i'm gonna take um, a large brush like this and it's already set to black and the, uh, the opacity is low i can click several times here um, to make the wolf less visible. You see, so he's kind of fading out on that area. And I like this because it's a bit more helping the illusion of the wolf getting or fading into existence from over here. So I think this looks better, uh, looks more interesting. Okay, and so Another thing that I want to do is kind of a, like a fairy dust effect actually over here in the woods that goes 
behind the trees and stuff so that it might look interesting and also gives more of a connection between these two creatures in our story. So let's create another layer up here on top of the other layers and for the brushes I'm going in here and select the texture brushes and there is one down here this one I think it is let's set it to a bright color so we can see the actual brush in action let's see so this looks like this and I think that's the right brush that I want to use so let's go step back and set this to a nice blue color like this and I will make it a little bit smaller let's see that's a good size yes and the next thing I'm gonna do is go in here to the effects and I will click on outer glow also select a nice blue color um, there we go nice bright blue and you see when I add some glow um, or the radius for the outer glow it not only adds some nice glowing blue color it also fades it a little bit into the background. You can see this is now really fairy dust like. Um, I hope you can see it on the screen. I'm not sure if YouTube is picking up these details. If not, um, go to my Patreon page where I uh, link this picture with the original resolution so you can look at it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is select all of the layer, click on delete so it's empty again deselect and now I can take my brush and just make a nice wave in here Whom. um okay let's try that again let's give it one more try meh not too whoops okay this went to the wrong direction let's see or should it one second I have to try it around a little bit sometimes one more time okay I will leave it like this and what I want to do now is I will just use my eraser tool and erase the parts over here so it looks like it's going behind the trees very easy trick to do and it's really effective as you will see in a second let's go like this and go like this and but um it looks like it's going behind the tree so this is a really nice effect i could probably use my brush add a little bit more here because the effect is getting lost a little bit over here so um let's use the eraser brush again there we go so that's that gives it a really nice effect and what we could also do i'll have to try this real quick is to put a little bit behind her um, although I have to duplicate the layer in this case let's do that and put it behind her like this and I'm going to select the layer delete so I don't have the double content and now I can paint behind her body on the side where her um, where her uh, cape is so this looks actually not too bad i think it's a bit too much maybe let's make one stroke and then make a second stroke one more bit here so this is a bit it's a nice kind of thing of connecting her with the creature a little bit more uh, let's delete the parts that come out over here don't want to i just want to have it on the side where her um where her cape is okay so i think this is the final version this is where i would stop at this moment you can work on it more um with the file or with your imagination what you want to create but for me i think this project is finished and i like it like it is so write in a comment if you like it too or if you want to see more of these projects or what you would do different that would be really interesting to me and if you want to see more of my videos maybe subscribe to my channel and if you want to support me even more head over to patreon where you can also get access to my files with all of the layers you can get feedback on your work and we can talk about topics that might interest you so i can create episodes that are more relevant to you thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode bye